Top 10 Most Powerful Military Armored Vehicles Military armored vehicles, or armored personnel carriers, popularly called APCs, have occupied an important role in military operations since World War I. An APC is an armored combat vehicle which is designed and equipped to transport a combat infantry squad and which, as a rule, is armed with an integral or organic weapon of less than 20 millimeters caliber. So in this video, we will discuss the top 10 most powerful military armored vehicles. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Number 10. Boxer The Boxer is one of the latest and most advanced armored personnel carriers. It was jointly developed by Germany and the Netherlands. Modular armor of the Boxer is made with a special ceramic mix. Every mission module has its own primary safety cell. It is claimed that front armor withstands 30 mm rounds. All round protection is against 12.7 mm fire. Damaged armor slabs can be easily replaced in field condition. Also, this APC has low radar and acoustic signatures, making it harder to detect. Despite being well protected, the standard boxer is armed only with a remotely controlled 12.7 mm machine gun or 40 mm automatic grenade launcher. Number 9. Turex the Singaporean Turex is one of the latest and most advanced armored personnel carriers. It entered service with Singaporean Armed Forces in 2006. Maximum level of all-round protection is against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. Vehicle has a double V-shaped hull, which deflects mine blasts away from the vehicle. The Turex can withstand up to 12 kg TNT explosion under the hull, and the vehicle still keeps on moving. The baseline version is armored with remotely controlled 40mm automatic grenade launcher and coaxial 7.62mm machine guns. Alternatively, it can be fitted with a remotely controlled 12.7mm machine gun. The Turex is fitted with a powerful engine, developing 400 horsepower. Number 8. M1283 The M1283 is the latest U.S. Army's armored personnel carrier. It is believed that protection of the M1283 is similar to that of the Bradley M2A3 IFV. Vehicle has a welded aluminum armor hull, front arc spaced laminated aluminum and steel armor. It is estimated that the front arc provides protection against 30mm armor piercing rounds and all round protection is against 14.5mm armor piercing rounds. The baseline M1283 has a crew of two and accommodates six dismounts. There is an ongoing trend to reduce the number of soldiers carried by armored vehicles. This allows to reduce the number of casualties if the vehicle is destroyed or runs over a landmine. The M1283 is armed with a shielded and manually operated 12.7mm heavy machine gun. Number 7. Ares The Ares is a new British armored vehicle. First pre-production vehicles were delivered to the British Army in 2019. This new armored vehicle is technologically advanced. It has modular armor and innovative protection against mine blasts. It is claimed that it is the best in terms of protection and survivability in its class. It offers a high level of protection against small arms fire, artillery shell splinters, and mine blasts. Crew and passengers are seated on mine blast resistant seats. This armored vehicle is also fitted with an electronic countermeasure system, laser warning system, local situational awareness system, and some other systems. It looks that the Ares is one of the most protected armored personnel carriers available today. Its armament is purely defensive and is limited to a remotely controlled 12.7mm machine gun. Number 6. M1296 Dragon the first operational M1296 Dragon was first delivered to the U.S. Army in 2017. The M1296 Dragon is well-protected and well-armed APC. However, it lacks protections for a true-wheeled IFV. Maximum level of all-round protection with add-on ceramic armor is against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. This vehicle was designed to survive mine blasts. Dragons employed in combat zones can be fitted with steel cages called slat armor that provides protection against anti-tank rockets and missiles. The M1296 Dragon is fitted with an unmanned turret armed with a 30mm cannon. It can effectively engage lightly armored vehicles up to a range of 3,000 meters. This cannon also fires airburst rounds that explode above the target. There's also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. 
Number five, ITIN. The ITIN is a new Israeli APC. The ITIN has a typical layout for a modern APC. It weighs around 30 to 35 tons and is well protected. It is estimated that the front arc withstands hits from 25 to 30 millimeter cannons, and all round protection is against 12.7 millimeter or 14.5 millimeter armor piercing rounds. In terms of mine protection, it is likely that this vehicle was designed to withstand blasts equivalent to 10 kilograms of TNT. Prototype of the Iten is fitted with a remotely controlled weapon station, armed with a 12.7 millimeter machine gun. Other weapons, such as the 30mm or 40mm automatic cannons, will also be available on the production version of the Iten. At least part of the IDF's Titans will be fitted with unmanned turrets. This APC is powered by a turbocharged diesel engine, developing 750 horsepower. Number 4. LAV 6.0 The Canadian LAV UP, or LAV 6.0, is an upgraded version of the LAV 3 Kodiak. A fully upgraded vehicle with add-on armor kit weighs just over 28 tons. It looks like with this kit, the maximum level of all-round protection is against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds, and the front arc withstands hits from the 30mm cannons. The baseline Canadian Army vehicle has a two-man turret, armed with an M242 Bushmaster 25mm chain gun. This weapon has an effective range of 2.4 kilometers. There is also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Another 5.56mm machine gun is located on the top of the roof. Other weapons can also be fitted. Saudi Arabia ordered the LAV 6.0 armored personnel carriers armed with 20 and 30mm cannons. The gunner can spot a man at a range of 1.2 kilometers. This armored vehicle is powered by a 450 horsepower Caterpillar diesel engine. Number 3. Piranha 5 the Piranha 5 is in service with Monaco. Recently, it was also selected by Denmark, Romania, and Spain. The vehicle has all-wheeled steel armor hull with integrated add-on composite modular armor. With maximum level of protection, the Piranha 5 withstands 25mm armor-piercing rounds all route. It withstands a 10kg anti-tank mine blast under any wheel. In APC configuration, this vehicle is proposed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun or 40mm automatic grenade launcher. The Piranha 5 is fitted with a powerful engine developing 580 horsepower. Number 2. AMV The Patria AMV was developed in association with the Finnish Defense Force. With maximum level of protection, the front arc of the AMV withstands 30mm armor-piercing rounds. The vehicle also has a top-class mine protection. It withstands blasts equivalent to 10 kilograms of TNT. Two up-armored Polish Army vehicles were hit in Afghanistan by RPG-7 rockets. However, armor was not penetrated and vehicles managed to return to the base. The baseline version is armed with a remotely controlled 12.7mm machine gun or 40mm automatic grenade launcher. This APC is fitted with a powerful engine developing 490 or 540 horsepower. Number 1. AMV XP The Patria AMV XP is a newer, improved, and more capable version of the Patria AMV, which is currently one of the best armored personnel carriers in the world. With maximum level of protection, the front arc of the AMV XP withstands 30mm armor-piercing rounds. All-round protection is against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. It withstands blasts equivalent to 10 kilograms of TNT under any wheel or anywhere under the hull. The Patria AMV XP can be fitted with various weapon systems, either remotely controlled or turret-mounted weapons. Armed with a 12.7mm machine gun, a 30mm cannon, 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, and two anti-tank guided missile launchers. This armored vehicle is powered by a Scania DC-13 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 603 horsepower. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like this, make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button, and we will see you in the next video.